and go ahead. I'm Travis with Subsurface Solutions and I'm here to show you the new 8100 series locator by Radio Detection. It's their most precise locator yet with a lot of new features um, in the receiver and the transmitter that uh, we'll go over. But first of all, they still give you the same convenient bag with the, uh, the nice storage areas for your paint and ground rod and other utilities, the utensils, uh, and the transmitter still come in a 5 watt or a 10 watt selection and you can get the rechargeable battery pack lithium ion battery to go inside the transmitter now this 10 watt transmitter comes with over 30 frequencies and um, current direction frequencies that's one thing uh, that they do well is uh, it gives you a frequency that will actually tell you which way your currents running on the line when you apply it so let's hook up here and do a locate and I'll show you how this all works When I get hooked up, I have the voltometer built into the transmitter to let me know if I have a good hookup or not. And it also makes a noise. And so once you start hearing the noise, you know you're getting milliamps. You know you got a good connection. And you should be able to get a signal on the receiver. So your frequencies are found there on the left side and your milliamps are found on the right side. The milliamps are letting you know how much current you got going down the line and that's all relative to how far you turn the transmitter up. If I turn it up to four bars you can see I may get more milliamps there. If I turn it down I'll get less milliamps and it all is dependent on how much resistance is on that line and how good your ground rod is as well. Now these transmitters, all the radio detection transmitters, do go up to 90 volts of power, which is important. That's way above everyone else's and it will put out more current when you have a high resistant area. So that's very helpful. You can get internal GPS mapping on this new RD8-8100 series and <clears throat> it will pick up uh, GLONASS satellites and give you a representation of how good the signal is over here on the right side of the screen. I just turned the unit on and we're already picking up several satellites, but the internal GPS function is, gives you basically two, two different functions. Now you can map out your line, download it into a Google Earth format, view it, save it, start building some kind of GIS system with it, uh, but you can also get a worker's log. It will save almost two years worth of locates inside the receiver. So as you're locating, every second a reading, a GPS reading is taken and it's actually logging where you're locating, what frequency you're using, what the depth readings are, um, current measurement, a lot, all the, all the different features that are on the screen for every second and, and it's date time stamping it as well. And we'll go ahead and collect some readings here and I'll show you how that's done with the RD Manager software. So, as I'm locating out, when I find the spot that, I, uh, that I'm looking for and I, I'm happy with my depth reading, I can go ahead and push the Survey CERT button, which is on the right side of the screen here. So, they've always had the Survey CERT button on the 8000 series, but on this 8100 series, it does more than just save the locate, it saves the GPS reading. And so that was reading number 40. I don't know if you saw that, it, was, it happened really quick, but when I push that button again, it's going to save the depth reading, it's going to save this locate point, and it will give you a number here on the left side. This is number 41. And so we move on to our next one. And we want to take another point here. I'll just go ahead and push the button again. It's saved. We go on to the next one. So you'll take a point to every 50, 100 foot, whatever you feel you need. And what it's basically doing is drawing a line in between this spot and the last spot that we just took. And then I can download those when I get back to my computer and a laptop or whatever. And I can view them on Google Earth. And so we'll do that. RD Manager is a free download on the Radio Detection website, radiodetection.com, and it allows you to basically download all the data surveying measurements and data logging measurements, update the software on the receiver, and <coughs> uh, check the unit for calibration. Now, when I start RD Manager, I simply first plug in the unit through the USB, which is found inside the battery compartment turn the receiver on 
and RD Manager should automatically read the, all the information from the unit. It will download the serial number, the calibration date that it's next should be checked, and then the, the PC software version. Um, and if it needs to be updated, it will automatically do that for you. Um, we have seven different tabs up in the top of the screen up here. And these tabs allow you to do several several things. The first one uh, allows you to customize the unit for whatever frequencies you do want to appear on the unit. Uh, change frequencies, change, the, uh, the, uh, change it from uh, metric to imperial. And then uh, it also, <clears throat> the next tab allows you to download survey measurements. So all the survey measurements we have stored in the unit are here downloaded and uh, we can select the ones we want to go ahead and export and uh, uh, export it to either as a comma separated text file, an Excel file, or a KML file which is Google Earth. And so I'm going to go ahead and select these seven here and hit KML file. And as soon as I hit that, it's going to ask me uh, what I want to name the file. So I'll go ahead and label it Waterline and we'll see that a, uh, a Google Earth file come up and show exactly where we have located. So here is the water line that we were just outside doing and here are the five points that we had collected by hitting the survey cert button on the receiver. You can see the very first point here if I click on it, it gives me the frequency that I was using, what mode I was in, the depth of the line, six foot, eight inches deep here, the current measurement, CD phase, signal strength, gain, and a whole bunch of other information that is selectable inside RD Manager, whatever you want it to display. Maybe you just want a depth reading in a location. And each one of these has that same information in it. So here we are at seven foot deep, and so on and so on. And so each one of these <coughs> can also be moved. If you don't like the positioning that you got, maybe because you were in a congested area with heavy foliage, we can customize it here, move that that information off to the side there and change it and then resave it. And we can export the same information to a GIS system, maybe ArcPad, Arc, ArcGIS online, and then uh, we can uh, save it in that format as well. And so that's Google Earth part of it. That it allows you to uh, basically start a GIS network here. RD Manager, the next tab on RD Manager is data logging. So here's all the data logs in the unit, the different dates. Um, every second a GPS reading is logged inside the unit, keeping track of everywhere that you locate, along with all the frequencies and depth readings that you're getting. And so I can go ahead and go to uh, whatever date I want on here. I'm going to go to the 15th and I can view that information. I can go ahead and just select some of them or I can go ahead and select all of them and export them as well to a KML file or an Excel file. I'm just going to go ahead and export it to a KML file. And you're going to see <coughs> quite a bit of information on the screen here. So when I zoom into this information, it basically kept a log of exactly everywhere that we walked, not just where we located. So you can see this is a locate going across the street here, locating a pipe, but everywhere that I walked it was tracking that spot. And there's actually four pipes in here, so there's four different locates parallel to one another. But each one of these dots is a place where it took a reading on that second. Not necessarily by hitting a button, it just automatically took a reading. And you can see that it's that right now it's saving a depth of zero inches. So obviously we weren't over the line there. But one of these possibly was over the line. Let's find one with the depth. There you go, 13 foot 9 inches. And it was 13 foot 9 inches under that, going underneath that room. And there's our current measurement, and along with all the other information that we chose. So that's data logging, and it will hold up to probably a couple years worth of this information. So if there ever was a damage, you can do a damage investigation and kind of see where it was located and what frequencies were being used by the locator. So RD Manager also allows you to 
update software. So you see the current version that we're running on this locator is 1000 and we can update it to 1001. And by doing that you just hit the right button up on the top left hand corner. It's currently updating the unit software and when it's done the, uh, the little data box here on the center of the screen will disappear and you should see the new update on the right side. There we go, software right is complete. So now the unit is updated to the current version 1001. We can also check the calibration of the unit. You can see here's the factory calibration certificate. It was passed and I can open that up on my screen, print it off on a, uh, on a regular piece of paper and any other future calibrations that I do on the unit, are, the calibration certificates are saved on here so you can download them at any time. The next one is the account information and <clears throat> how, it's, how many ESERT credits I have and, and so on and so on. And then I have the advanced setup part where I can actually set a calibration date for this unit and if it, it goes beyond that date the unit will be inoperable and I would have to bring it in and do a calibration check. That's good for maybe um, uh, survey companies that do a lot of locates and definitely require this unit to read correctly on, especially on the depth reading or maybe a rental company that will rent out their locators for a week and after that week is up the unit will be inoperable unless the user brings it back to the office. So that's RD Manager. It's a very useful tool and it works with the, um, the 7100 series and the 8100 series. But only on the 8100 series do you have the GPS survey mapping option available. Another nice feature is it has more antennas. It has five antennas inside the unit. Now with extra antennas come extra options so you can actually use not only your peak mode and your null mode like you've always had before but they have a new one called guidance mode. Guidance mode basically emulates the line that we're locating. It gives you a shadow on the center of the screen and once you get that shadow which is basically your pipe or cable into the middle of the screen you should be directly over it. Simultaneously you'll have the arrows to tell you go left and right and their distance arrows you can see they get smaller as you get closer to it and so that's as helpful as well. And then we have the peak and the null combined mode which is found on the 7100 and the 8100 series combining both the peak response with the bar graph and the arrows. But I think with that new guidance mode using all the antennas simultaneously is going to be a great benefit for many people. I really like that guidance mode. And so <clears throat> it's a very quick locator with all those antennas working simultaneously. You get a quick reaction and you still get your automated depth reading, still get your automated current reading down here on the left side. You have the compass telling you what direction the line's going and we have current direction. So what current direction is doing here, we right now are using a new one called 4 kilohertz current direction and current direction gives me an arrow on the left side of the screen letting me know my current is running away from the transmitter like it should be. If I happen to bleed off onto another cable or pipe next to me, my arrow will flip flop. But as you can see when we're on the line we're supposed to locate the arrow will always be pointing away from the transmitter like it should. So this one also has a remote control on it, the Bluetooth remote control. So there is a new enhanced remote between the receiver and the transmitter that allows me to get about 1400 feet or more away from the transmitter. If I have line of sight of that transmitter, I can change frequencies, I can bump the transmitter up and down, even turn it to standby mode without walking all the way back, which is a nice feature if you're on a really long locate, difficult locate, maybe you're on the other side of a busy street or the other side of a creek, you can change features on your transmitter without walking all the way back around. Maybe check your depth reading in multiple frequencies. So beyond that, we have some other things on here. Um, the lithium ion battery is a new feature. This one has the lithium pack in it, but I can still use the alkaline pack. I can take this out. If this one's dead, I can put the alkaline batteries in, which is just two alkaline batteries, D cells, and use those temporarily while this is charging. I can get an auto charger or it comes with a regular AC charger as well.
Another nice feature of the new uh, 8100 series is the enhanced power mode. Now they have this on the 7100 PL model as well, but the enhanced power mode is really for those uh, power professionals, the electric guys that uh, need to hone in on power lines uh, better, especially multiple power lines in the same trench. Uh, when there's multiple power lines in the same trench, they're not just putting out 60 hertz, they could be putting out multiple 60 hertz, which would add up to 120 or, or 180 or what have you. So uh, what radio detection did is still give you the, the basic power mode, it gives you a broad spectrum of, uh, of frequencies that are divisible by 60 hertz. Um, so we're getting a power mode here at 4 foot 10 inches, but now that I'm in power mode, if there's multiple lines in here, I can enhance that by just going to maybe 60 hertz by itself. And so now I'm just picking up 60 instead of a broad spectrum of frequencies. And by doing that, I'm able to use regular peak mode with a compass and possibly get a better depth reading. I'm still getting the same depth reading at 4 foot 10, but say if there's multiple primary lines here and maybe a secondary as well in the same trench, I can go to 180. Maybe 180 will give me a, a better depth reading or a, at least give me a better locate. Um, and by just pushing the peak and null button, I can scroll through all my different power frequencies. There's a 300, there's a 420, and there's a 540. And the whole purpose is to just to see which one works the best, especially if you're trying to locate near a transformer like that and, and get a good locate on all the primary cables going out in different directions. So that's a neat feature. And on top of that, you still get what they call dynamic overload protection, which means if I'm getting excess signal from overhead power lines, maybe somebody else out there locating, it will hone in on that frequency and digitally block it out. So that's something unique to radio detection software built inside each unit. It's running several different software programs that are custom to radio detection, which makes locating a lot easier, especially in congested areas. So that's the 8100 series. Um, if you want a demo, a live demo, please give us a call.